And the, uh, you're uh, one of the veterans here. Uh, we talked last time, uh, you're involved in helping uh, the team, wherever that is. And you guys had a big win, uh, winning the first round game. How important is that, you know, for this school, for this program, getting that win to move forward? Yeah, it's, it's nice. You know, the, the first one's always the hardest, uh, just to kind of get the ball rolling. And I think... It almost plays our advantage to have played on Friday instead of Thursday, because as we as we're sitting there watching all the games on Thursday, you know we see all these upsets. It, it kind of almost wakes you up a little bit. It's a reality check that like no no, no games are given just because you're a higher seed. So I think that that helped us and just to get the first one under our belt, it's going to be big just for motivation and, and our just our overall and you know flow for everything. Right. Uh, you what are you expecting you from the Miami Smith and Nigel at the helm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they're a good team. They, they get a lot of defense to offense, a lot of transition buckets. So um, that's definitely going to be a focus. And then obviously Nigel's going to do what he does. You know, he, he's a great shooter, great point guard leader for that team. He's very poised and, and level-headed. So, um, you know, he's a great player. We're going to do what we can to slow him down and hopefully hopefully play through our strengths and dictate the style of the game. What kind of game you got looking forward to expecting? I mean, obviously, we're going to play through the big fella, as, as we've done all year. It's, it's you know, it's it's the most reliable thing we have. So we'll pl we'll play through the big fella and just try to limit transition and, and uh, you know, control their guards. They get up and down the court, but I noticed yesterday in the game, the stats, you guys, it was like 9-0 on fast break mm -hmm. uh, So it seems like you have a bird uh, getting out of rebound comfortable. A lot more, yes. Right. Right. I mean, that's just a testament to our defense, I guess. You know, being able to to capitalize on turnovers or rebounds and just push it and run. You know, that makes us very dangerous because we've got five guys who can just get the rebound and, and push the ball at any point and make the right play, make the right read, and everybody's playing as hard as they can. So, just being able to go from defense to offense is it makes us a lot more dangerous. How's uh, Real estate's going well, you know. I'm staying busy as I can during the year, during the season, and then uh, after the season, I'll have a little more time to focus since we don't have as much. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's pretty busy. Um, I, I've got a lot of stuff going on, so I uh, I've I've got a couple phones now just so I can separate my personal life from from my work life, which is which has been nice. But uh. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? I uh, have a great family background. My parents are always around. Uh, but this really seems to be able to tell you you're very Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I think it's just a little bit of the way I grew up, I guess, with, like you said, my family. But uh, I, I'm I'm very good at just focusing on 100% on one thing at a certain time. But then when I switch over to another thing, I can put 100% towards that. Um, and just being able to balance things and be as productive and efficient as I can and just be laser focused on what I'm doing at the time has helped me a lot.